MMA is such a big part of our lives that Selena doesn't generally watch, but she's at home right now, glued to the TV, John. She texted me, said, I gotta watch this one. Gotta do it, Dustin Poirier in the black trunks. Justin Gaethje is in blue. And one of our producers picked up on some buzzwords in the Poirier locker room as he was getting ready to come out as he lands a left and a right. Smother and pressure, the buzzwords coming out of the Poirier corner before they came out. Poirier, Poirier. Go ahead. Oh, already like three or four inside leg kicks though, man. He's gotta check him. He's gotta at least punch, catch one, and take him down something every time he gets kicked in the legs. He's gotta answer to those leg kicks. Gaethje said it would be hard for Poirier to be patient with me in his face all night. Poirier just misses on the uppercut there. Gaethje has to be one of the best leg kickers MMA has ever seen. I'm not saying that MMA is right now. He's got to be one of the best leg kickers MMA has ever seen. Nice straight right lands for Justin Gaethje. Gaethje's already cut. Doesn't care, though. Still pressuring forward, trying to get past that jab of Poirier. Watch the counter right hook of Poirier. That's going to be one of his best weapons. He steps out and hits that counter right hook. Not a great right location there. for that cut. Appears to be bothering Gaethje a little bit. The inside kick's killing Poirier's leg, though. Do you see right? If he does not start checking that, he's going to have no power in his left hand or his jab. Gaethje likes to fight on the inside. Poirier's better at range, but at range is where Gaethje can land those kicks. He's crowding Poirier's power. He's keeping him so stuffed that he can't get Gaethje at the end of his punches, and so he's crowding his power. Oh, nice combination by Poirier. Nice long combination. It was blocked, but a nice long combination. Good jab by Gaethje. Both guys landing at a 62% clip here through two minutes. Eyes starting to shut down for Gaethje. That, that left eye is going to get shut. He's not careful. He's got to protect it. Just, Dustin's already starting to move a little gingerly on that front leg. Yep, it hurts. He can't take many more of those kicks. It's starting to pick apart. Now his head's getting open because he's worried about the leg kicks. That's what Gaethje does. He chops your legs. You're so worried about defending your legs, you leave your head open to get knocked out. Big deep breath from Poirier. I mean, the pace that Justin Gaethje makes you fight at is crazy. He wants Poirier. you to keep punching him so that you get tired. That's what he wants. He's, he's hoping Poirier keeps punching himself out like this at his guard. Poirier is doing a good job of returning when he's getting kicked, but he's got to defend or check these leg kicks. And at least in the early going, Poirier willing to fight at Justin Gaethje's preferred pace. And he just looked at the clock two minutes in. Well, certainly Dustin has earned Gaethje's respect. You saw how quickly he covered up. Poirier doing a good job staying heavy on the offense, though. He's landing right back. He's not stepping yes. back and just eating shots. He's landing back with Gaethje. This is what we expected. These guys fighting in a phone booth. Yep. Poirier's going to have to get some respect and get Justin moving back a little bit. Oh, oh, oh yeah. That was heavy. Or go to the body. That's why Alvarez had so much success. Go to the body. Gaethje has absorbed a lot of significant strikes here early. 38 to the head already for Poirier. Under 90 seconds, round one. Little slip there by Gaethje. Poirier starting to settle in a little bit. Rips the body effectively yet again there. One of the bigger issues with being able to hit somebody is that you fall in love with it. You realize that they're there to be hit, so you start throwing everything with absolute power. You gotta stay within yourself if you're Dustin Poirier when you're landing this many strikes on Justin Gaethje, because he's gonna be here. He's gonna be here for a while. He's not going out with one punch most times. And he tries to pressure you, so if you do punch, it's not as powerful as you want because he crowds you, so you can't extend your arms out. Oh! That was a heavy hook, though, that, that Poirier just landed. Nice left hook around the ear of Gaethje in the pocket. The leg kicks are adding up for Gaethje, though. That's gonna really pay dividends in the second round. Gaethje he can survive. I mean, you got 30 seconds left, and Gaethje's eating some shots. Poirier is big and powerful at 155 pounds. And of course, Gaethje doesn't cut a lot of weight to make this 156 pound limit. No, he said that the only year he All-American in wrestling was the year that he just didn't cut any weight. Right. So he's taken that approach in his mixed martial arts career too. Yep. He that said was... that uh, the guys that are cutting weight fade as he puts the pressure on him. That's what he's counting on. He's saying, I'm gonna chop his leg down and tire him out because he's cutting weight. I'm not, I'll have energy in the third, fourth, fifth rounds and he'll be done and chopped down. Big hook landed there for Gaethje in that exchange. 
Great first round. Great first round. Exactly what we expected. Boom! Inside leg kick by Justin Gaethje. Over and over. Boom! Inside leg kick. You cannot take leg kick for 25 minutes. Now, Dustin Poirier had a lot of success whenever he was in the pocket here. Very interesting to watch them go back and forth. Whitman thought Gaethje won that first round, but he said, don't worry about banking rounds. Just go beat this kid up. Round two underway now. The best coaches in the game don't just give good advice. They, they get their fighter hyped up and ready to win when they're in the most pain and they're, they're doubting themselves the most. They know how to trigger their brain and get them to kill. And Gaethje said, oh, what, what happened? Who won that round? And he says, who cares about round? You're going to break him anyway. He says, you're right. And here we are right now, and he's coming heavy with the pressure. But don't forget, Dustin Poirier's leg is hurting bad. Well, we saw a few fights ago, Jim Miller beat up the lower half of Poirier's leg. Dustin was able to win that fight by majority decision. But Gaethje certainly attacking the upper portion, the inside of that lead leg on the southpaw, Dustin Poirier. I thought both guys found success in that round. Gaethje did a lot of good work with those leg kicks, but also Poirier did good work with his boxing. Jab of Gaethje's landing a lot as well. He's using it, using that jab very effective. Starting to faint now. Nice level change by Poirier. And that's got that leg. Up. That leg's hurt. Oh yeah. Big shot lands for both guys. Stop. Stop. Dustin Poirier dealing with an eye poke. We'll see if we can take a look at it. Poirier seems you ready to win. You've been keeping your hands open a lot. You gotta, you gotta keep your hands up. That was right in the eye. Pretty strong warning there from Herb Dean. Yeah, because eye pokes will take your whole yeah. eye out. One eye poke, the yeah, fight yeah. could be over. It could be really bad. You got to be careful with those pokes. You need a second to clear your vision? Ooh, yeah. right in the eye. To a leg kick. And I then you got to take leg the leg kick. leg kick, too. You know, your leg's already kind of yeah. beat up. You get poked in the eye, and you got to take an extra leg kick. What a pain. <laughs> so I'm going to have the doctor look at it? Come on. I can have the doctor look at it. Now you're giving Judson Gaethje a rest from the beating and from right. the pressure, and now he can pressure even more than he did in the first place. I think that Poirier should have kept on the kept going. Well, and I think that's what Dustin said. I don't want to bring in the doctor. I don't want to give Gaethje a break, but Gay, you give Gaethje a break. That's the last thing you want to do. You got to hope that the damage accumulates on him. But if you give him a rest, he gets rest from his from the beating he's taken too. Looked like maybe Gaethje just got warned again, a little softer that time by Herb Dean. Gaethje can throw the, oh, oh, nice combination by Poirier. And he did, he ate it and then threw a hook and landed his own hook in, Port, in, in Gaethje. I think that's his best strike. I think that's Gaethje's best punch, is the left hook. Okay. This legendary chin of Justin Gaethje has been tested tonight. It is held up through the fight's first seven minutes. Gaethje with a glancing left able to land. Oh, wow. Both fighters landing in the pocket. I mean, it's crazy watching Justin Gaethje fight because this is the way the fight goes every single time. They wonder why he's been in the UFC for three fights and has had two main events already. Because if you want good fights, you stick Gaethje in yeah. there. First and UFC you, fight was the main event. Yeah, and you put him in there with guys like Dustin Poirier, Eddie Alvarez, and Michael Johnson. It's only the second round, and Poirier is starting to look a little bit weathered. He's on his back heel. He's doing good with his jab. He's ripping the body well, but that leg hurts, and you can see Gaethje just kind of getting him to step back, and he kind of looks at him like, stop taking him, stop. He's going to need him to switch. Dustin Poirier's got to switch stances. Ooh, he's got to switch stances. With that leg. Nice combination. Nice combination by Poirier. Very nice. He's landed four or five punches in a row, and Gaethje just eats him. You got to go to the body. If you're fighting Justin Gaethje, you got to go to the body. I think that's why Eddie Alvarez did so well. Agreed. He invested in the body early. Gaethje could take damage to the head because it hurts, but if you take away the air out of his lungs, that's the one way you got to fight Gaethje. And for the first time in the fight, Poirier thought there briefly about a strategy change, unable to take Gaethje down on that attempt. Poirier seems to be moving okay, but some significant swelling in and around that right knee. Nice combination. He's just touch, 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 and then power at the end. There he is, there goes the switch. Fight conventional a little bit. Look at Poirier's he inside of his thigh. His knee is just super swollen. His right leg, is, the inside of his leg is just swollen. Not only will this affect his ability to stand, 
but he can't really set down on his punches and he won't generate the power that he normally generates because he can't really get heavy on his leg. And Poirier is landing more at a higher percentage for sure. 65% for Dustin Poirier as we approach the one minute mark here in round two of a possible five. I mean, through two rounds, Dustin Poirier is over 120 punches landed. 120 strikes landed. It's a crazy pace. It's unbelievable that these guys have to fight 25 minutes. He has to go to the body more on Gaethje's only head hunting, and that's a problem. Right hand lands flush over the top for Poirier. Gaethje's body shots are those leg kicks, man. That's his investment. His investment is in the leg kicks. That's how he slows these guys down and he breaks them down. Oh, nice single leg by Poirier. Can he finish this? That would be a no. Oh, oh good nice elbow right, right there. there. Good elbow by Gaethje. Oh, nice. Now Gaethje with some uppercuts here in the clinch. <laughs> Kicks up top for kick. Gaethje. Oh! oh. This is exactly what you want in that third period of a wrestling match. And Gaethje's running back to the center of the map. And Poirier is looking at it like, stop running. And these guys are about to meet in the middle and see in this third round. Let's see what, what this is made of. What a show all of these fighters have put on here in Glendale, Arizona tonight. Round three of a possible five here. This is a big round for Dustin Poirier in terms of him having to dig deep to stay in this fight. Justin Gaethje has some momentum. Looking at the posture of Poirier, going back to his, his seat, it wasn't encouraging if you're Team Dustin. What's interesting is Poirier took all the damage to the leg, Gaethje took all the damage to the head, and it looks like the leg damage hurt more than the head damage somehow. Well, it usually does, right? It I usually agree. does, especially with a guy like Justin Gaethje, who's so good at kicking your legs. And the cut on the eye of Poirier happened very quick at the end of that round. He was fine. And all of a sudden, he's got this, this nasty cut on the right, left eye. And he still hasn't taken one shot yet. And Poirier said he didn't necessarily fear the one-punch knockout power of Justin Gaethje, but he breaks a lot of guys who say, I've had enough, this guy's a maniac. Yes. And Gaethje at his maniacal best here tonight, under four minutes, now round three. Nicely timed takedown, but it's so frustrating when you take somebody down, and Poirier wanted just one second to breathe on top of him, and he gets right back up. Nice body shot by Poirier. Dustin keeps pawing at that eye. Gaethje keeps just touching. Oh, that kick. He waits for the Big left reaction. hand of, yep. of Poirier, and he fires that inside kick every time. And then he just turns the knee out to check, yep. right? Every yep. time Dustin just tries to return with a kick, he just turns it out to check. Poirier is not seeing that inside leg kick. They're both tired. Oh. oh. Those reactions are getting bigger and bigger. Yep. Well, a lot of people didn't think we would get to the three-minute mark of round three. Both guys have had their moments. He slipped the jab and came over with the two, and you saw Poirier go, whoa, 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 whoa. What was that? He's hurt. Oh, Big oh, elbow landed. Poirier's hurt. Yep, he's stuck on the fence, and now he's hoping. He wants to wrestle. He's got to take time. He's got to back up and find some space. You can't try to go head first in here. You got to grab. Justin Gaethje is too smart. He's going to pick his shot. He won't waste energy and go crazy. He's gonna start hanging on the head. Elbow and uppercut from here, make it dirty. Keep going to the legs, with the knees. This is good for Dustin Poirier, though. Being in the clinch, being able to hold and try to catch his breath, knock the cobwebs off. Glendale crowd getting behind one of their own, Justin Gaethje, who has started to take control of this third round. Poirier recognized this, that the pace is gonna be high. He recognized that at times, Justin Gaethje will break you. That's his intent, is to break you. But at this point, right now, there isn't much you can do about it. See, Gaethje just heads him off every time. You see Poirier circle out, and then Gaethje walks in front of him again and again. He doesn't follow him at all. He always heads you off and keeps you in a box. And you saw Poirier move that right leg back. Just the thought of eating another one, and there goes Gaethje again. Perhaps though Poirier getting a second win here. He's in great shape. He came in no shape doubt. for this fight. He hasn't stopped either. He's fighting yeah. his heart out right now. 
Gaethje's just landing a little heavier shots to those legs, and that's why you're seeing such an effect on Poirier. It's the leg shots. The crazy thing is, we talked about the Eddie Alvarez fight, but that was only three rounds. I mean, yeah. these guys have to do this for two more rounds <laughs> if we get to the corners. Big deep breath from Gaethje. You're talking about two of the toughest fighters on this roster, top to bottom. Putting on an absolute show tonight, Poirier now. And Dustin Poirier is landing strikes and shots of his own. It's just that right now he's wearing the fight on his face and in his reactions a little bit more than Justin Gaethje. And Trevor Whitman to our immediate right. He's been smiling the whole time. Under a minute to go round three, the leg kicks for Gaethje. 73% on 51 attempts. Trevor's smiling because this is what he sees every day, right? Yeah. He knows ultimately what the ending of this type of fight usually is for Justin Gaethje. And if you're Dustin Poirier, right now is not the time to be throwing everything with 100% power. Ooh, he's another eye poke another there. Eye poke. He may take a point here. That's a big break for Dustin Poirier. Not really, because right now, DC, you start feeling that leg. You start taking an assessment of your body and how you feel. Gaethje's getting a break. What's Poirier thinking right now? Is he thinking my eye hurts or is he thinking my leg hurts? Too many times. He's taking a point. Looks like Herb's gonna take a point here. That's a big deal. You wanna see the doctor? Good find. Huh? This wasn't with the other eye? No. This one again. This one, same one. Well, the crowd doesn't like it, but DC, you don't seem to like it either. There was a stern warning earlier. Herb Dean decides to take a point here. You have to, right? If you're following the rules, you get a stern warning, and then a point is taken. Well, that has incited the masses in support of Justin Gaethje. Gaethje's pretty angry about that. Let's see what he does about it. <laughs> Still mad. Mad at himself. Okay. We'll take one final look at it here. He got him in both eyes. Yeah, it looked like maybe the other eye, but here we go, final seconds of round three, and that point deduction could end up huge if we do go the distance tonight. Justin Gaethje has really good footwork. He does not chase his opponents ever. Look like a Poirier eye poke at the end of the round now. So here we go with round four. Hey, you gotta go, you gotta go. And potentially a third round there, Dom, for Justin Gaethje would have gone into the books as a 9-9 with a point deduction. Yeah, you don't know what that's gonna do to the decision, but I mean, right now, I think Gaethje's ahead pretty well, so. We'll see what happens, but now Poirier's got one eye poke too, so if he pokes Gaethje back in the eye a second time, it could be even on the scorecards with that point deducted from Poirier too. Well, for Justin Gaethje, despite the fact that he has a lot of experience in five round fights, this is the first oh! time he's seen a fourth. Big left hand lands by Poirier. He's looking for the finish here. Gaethje hurt. Gaethje's hurt bad, he's but he's hurt been hurt. here before. Gaethje nearly out on his feet. Poirier continues to land, but he doesn't have He does not Big punch. <laughs> a wow. fight for the ages Whoa. in Glendale wow. goes to the Louisiana, Dustin Poirier. This one landed clean. And right here, Justin Gaethje, an All-American wrestler, never tried to clinch, never tried to shoot a double leg. He did not have the understanding that I am hurt. I need to grab this guy. He stayed 
with what he has always done and tried to brawl. And Poirier is too smart, too sharp, too accurate, and found the kill shot. Great finish by Dustin Poirier. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 33 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO, Dustin the Diamond Poirier.